two Escalades, one in the Sport Platinum trim and one in the Premium Luxury trim, and we're going to be doing a comparison video right here for you guys at Vagabond Builds. Check out a quick look of the exteriors and some interiors, and we're gonna be talking about these cars in this video here at Vagabond Builds. Let's go ahead and bring this over to you guys. Now, as mentioned, we are talking about two Escalades and comparing the Sport Platinum trim over to the Premium Luxury trim in this comparison video. But before we do, this is not a sponsored video, so there are two buttons we'd like you guys to push, that like button and the subscribe button. If you guys do like our content and wanna support our channel, we really appreciate it. If you got some for us to film, here's our email below. Email us if we could talk details later. A special shout out and a thanks to Roseville Reliable GMC Cadillac and Buick for providing us both of these beautiful Escalades for this review. Now guys, keep watching, stay tuned. We're dropping the MSRP stickers so you guys get an exact idea of what exactly comes on both these cars here at Vagabond Builds. Now let's talk Cadillac Escalade. So we only have one hood popped and the reason for that is because they literally both come in the same exact drivetrains. 6.2 liter V8 with a 10 speed automatic transmission gives you 420 horsepower of 460 pounds feet of torque. Now, a little bit about the MPG on the gas engines, 14 city, 18 highway, and a 16 combined. This exact Sport Platinum, the one that you're looking at now, comes with the electronic limited slip differential to where you have the premium luxury that comes with the mechanical limited slip differential. Everybody, you also have an option of a 3.0 liter diesel motor that you get inside these Escalades coming from GM. Now, just wanted to mention that to you guys, but I'm not gonna give you guys specs because we're focusing mainly on these exact two cars. Now, 2023 Cadillac Escalade. This is a Sport Platinum, 2023 premium luxury trim, and we're gonna be showing you guys some differences on this exterior. Starting off with the front end, let's talk headlights. Both headlights do come in that pre premium LED rectangular two-stage uh, system but you do not have the Cadillac written on the interior side of this headlight here on the uh, Sport Platinum. But if we go ahead and show you guys on the Premium Luxury, you have the Cadillac written on the interior side of that headlight. But overall, the look on them are literally the same. You might just have some different color schemes on both front ends with the headlights. For example, this one being more blacked out all around the front end, trims, down here also. The grills are different, okay? So the grill here on the Sport Platinum does completely look different from the Premium Luxury to where the surface of this kind of has that silver and the interior side has that black gloss look. And of course you got the metallic silver going across with some uh, gloss black. Both come bumper sensors going across with your camera system integrated right under both emblems, okay? So both of them come fully uh, 360 camera system around. Daytime running lights down here on both, okay? Coming over to the side. Dimensions, let's talk dimensions. Not being an ESV version, so these are just a regular standard Cadillac non-stretched version. The dimensions are 212 inches in length, 81 inches in, in width, and 77 inches in height. Also bringing you forth an eight inch ground clearance on both cars, up to eight inches, okay? The rims will be different. Premium Luxury, Sport Platinum, my preference is the Sport Platinum. They are both running the Bridgestone tires. On the Sport Platinum, you're running a 275 50 22 with that kind of gunmetal gray machine surface silver look. Suspension comes magnetic ride control with adaptive air ride suspension, so you can increase and decrease ground clearance. Coming over to the premium luxury, Bridgestone, the tire 275 50 22, so literally same exact, just in that chrome look. And the suspension is non-air ride adaptive, okay? So it's just literally the strut with the spring on this premium luxury. Continuing forward, side mirrors, pretty much exactly the same. Cameras, integrated lighting. You get the automatic foldable with the blind spot assist. Where you're gonna see something different 
running board. It is a stable running board. So if I go ahead and open this door, it does not move. But if I open this, that running board comes out and it also tucks in, giving it more of a minimalist and simple look. Now, some pr uh, platinum sports or sport platinums, you will see have the just kind of in place running board to where some sport platinums will have a retractable running board, okay? Just keep an eye out for that. Uh, I know there are little uh, knickknacks, bells and whistles that are add-ons and takeaways from the package deals, depending on what people want on their cars. Keyless fob entries with illuminated door sill, door handles, sorry, door handles. Roof rails, both come with the roof rails and they're just different colors. Like I said, different color schemes from uh, Sport Platinum to Premium Luxury. You get chrome on the Premium Luxury and then all blacked out on the uh, Sport Platinum. Rear ends, pretty much the same exact stuff on the rear ends. When properly equipped, you get up to 7,300 pounds of towing capacity. Starting from the top, both come with that spoiler, integrated brake lighting system. The windshield wiper is tucked away, giving it more of a cleaner look. You can pop this glass. You got the option on both. Open the tailgate. You have hands-free option, but you also can open it by pushing the bottom side of this emblem or using your key fob. All right, camera systems integrated right over the license plate on both. So the Sport Platinum and the Premium Luxury has two cameras here, one for the backup camera and one for the live feed camera inside on the rear uh, view mirror. And we're gonna be showing you guys that later. Dropping down, bumper sensors integrated with the two tip exhaust, one on the right, one on the left with your parking reflectors. This is the cap right here for the uh, towing situation going on. Your spare tire, full size spare tire on both cars come under the car. Now let's go ahead and talk cargo area on both these cars. Now, before talking cargo area, we opened both tailgates. Wanted to show you guys that this one is set a little bit lower than the premium luxury. Now that is optional. You can set them at different heights, okay, as you please. Now let's talk cargo area. Premium luxury, sport platinum, pretty much the same exact cargo area. With third row seats up, it is 26 cubic feet of space. If we were to drop the third row seats, it gives you 71 cubic feet of space. And if we were to drop third row and second row, it gives you a full whopping 121 cubic feet of space. Now remember, if you have the ESV version, the Escalade stretch version, that gives you a whole lot more room in the cargo area. Now, let's talk panels. Literally, I'm talking about one because both of them are exactly the same. You can drop second row seats from these buttons here, just like that. And you can also drop the third row seats and pick up the third row. So you can only drop the second row seats. You can't pick them up, but the third row you can drop and pick up. Giving you full 121 cubic feet of space. This is a lot of room for washers, dryers, skis, snowboards, two by fours, whatever you want to put back here, grocery getter, this is the car and you can fit a whole lot back here. A little bit under the mats, some more cargo or personal room here, the aluminum uh, kick plates, AKG subwoofer in both of them. You got your tie downs for like bungeeing groceries down and an inverter on both. Now let's go ahead and shut these tailgates. Now that we're done with the specs, the exteriors and some cargo area, let's go ahead and show you guys the differences between both on the interior side. Now sitting inside the interior of the 2023 Sport Platinum and right off the bat, the difference is guys, what do I want to show you guys? Your door sill plate is different on the Sport Platinum compared to the Premium Luxury. Also on the speaker system, both come AKG, but the Sport Platinum has the 36 speaker AKG Premium Sound System. Whole lot of speakers in the Sport Platinum. Also, trailer braking system on the Sport Platinum. You have that. You also, because the adaptive air ride suspension, you have the increase and decrease ground clearance buttons. Suede up top on the A pillars, your top canvas, and then B pillars, C pillars, and all the way back to the cargo area. 
the seating itself, the perforated leather aniline, if I'm pronouncing that right, seating is completely different in the Sport Platinum for uh, compared to the um, Premium Luxury. And then also, optional refrigerator system. It is on and literally you can drop some chocolate in here or whatnot. Don't drink and drive. Do not put a beer in here because that is no-no. Now, that is pretty much the main differences that we see from the Sport Platinum over to the Premium Luxury. But overall, we want you guys to kind of stop and look at what the 2023 Escalade looks like with the wood in that uh, clear coated look, that leather wrap dash and the seating coming together with all the piano black look. It is just an amazing high class, rich feel, heads up display. Your screens in the 16.9 inch infotainment screen system. Let me show you guys the navigation. This is the 14.1 inch driving driver cluster screen. And then you have the 7.2 inch uh, screen here for your heads-up display controls, also for your um, front cluster, if you wanna just do map, gauge, or AR camera, if you wanna see what's in front of you. All right, you can change that. Very cool option to have on these Escalades. They come premium tech, heated and ventilated front seats on the Sport Platinum, along with the premium luxury. And then on the Sport Platinum, you get the heated seats on the second row seating. Now. Guys, pretty much the look of this, I'm just bringing it like real quick because it's a comparison video. Let's go ahead and jump over to the second row and third row seating in the Sport Platinum. So now second row seat in the Sport Platinum, pretty much the main difference is check out these screens here for keeping your uh, baggage or your people inside the car busy. YouTube Kids, YouTube, you get Hulu and your HDMI plugins that you will see different from the Sport Platinum over to the Premium Luxury. But overall, you have pretty much the same with the cup holders, the tri zone climate control. Now, to correct my mistake, uh, I mentioned that the Sport Platinum comes second row heated seats. Also, the Premium Luxury does come with the heated seats on the second row. Captain seating, we left these down so you guys get an idea. You can control these seats by the levers on the side of the seat you can bunny hop these forward so your third row can move in and out very easily let's go ahead and pop these back up move this back i'm about six feet two inches literally american suvs are like apartments on the road you literally have a whole lot of leg clearance head clearance too now something else that's slightly different from the sport platinum to the premium luxury is the speakers, remember, the multiple speakers, so you're gonna be seeing speakers placed all around the car on the Sport Platinum to where on the Premium Luxury you will not have this. Vents, true light, LED lighting, similar in both cars. Let's go ahead and jump to the third row seating. Third row seat, clear on the space. My head is still not touching the ceiling. Legs are pretty good. You, one thing that's nice about the aisleway, you can stretch out your leg in the aisleway. You get these buttons here on the right and left for the third row seaters that you can push them and these seats will bunny hop forward. So your third row cargo or your people will not be feeling left out if you forgot to pop open the seat. USB-C's on the right and the left with your cup holders and some little personal pocket room. That suede, one thing I'd like to mention is that beautiful suede that comes all the way back and drops down on that C-pillar or quarter panel area, very nice and beautiful. Vents for the people in the back. Also, if you bring animals, you want to drop these seats down and drop some cages back here, they also get their air here. True light LED lighting here in the back also. Now we're done with the Sport Platinum. Let's go ahead and shoot over to the Premium Luxury and show you guys how that looks on the inside. So now sitting in the Premium Luxury look and right off the bat, remember I mentioned those door sill plates. Those look different, all right? You also have the AKG speakers, but not 36 speakers inside the premium luxury. So it literally tones it down with that premium quality sound. Also no trailer brake. Okay, you don't get the trailer brake system here. You also don't have the two buttons for the increase and decrease in ground clearance. No suede. This is kind of more like a mesh look or a canvas feel. The seating does come perforated with the leather wrap just not that same stitching with that rectangular square 
ish look on the seating itself. All right, let's go ahead and open this. No refrigerator, no refrigeration option. So you get that extra 12 volt outlet because of no refrigerator. All right, so pretty much other than that, still the same. Wanted to show you guys how this infotainment screen looks. Now, I didn't show you guys in the uh, Sport Platinum, but this is the navigation. You can go home, touch sensitive, very responsive. Uh, no lagging. You can check out your ambient lighting, change that. Let's go ahead and show you guys the cameras, different views, sides. A lot to go through with this car for the time of this video. We're not going to, but you can control your rear climate, your audio system, from your infotainment screen and much more but you could also control that a lot of that stuff right here with this manual uh control unit here if we go ahead and press the navigation button go back and then go home also control that okay cup holders with your personal cubby room usb-c usba plugins here and inside of here so no one's fighting for usb-c plugins if you guys want a more in-depth review, check out our other video with the 2023 Cadillac Escalade Sport Platinum in the Black Raven color exterior, and we go more through it uh, in depth so you guys get an idea. Let's go ahead and show you guys second and third row seating inside the premium luxury trim. All right, second row seating, no screens. Remember I mentioned that? So that gets rid of your HDMI plugs. It looks a little bit different, but overall tri-zone climate control with the heated seats. Same captain seating. You, of course, don't have that same look uh, from the Sport Platinum over to the Premium Luxury, but they still kept the same idea from the front seats over to the second row seats, but they simplified the third row seats to where the Sport Platinum kept that same semi aniline leather trim wrap to where on the Premium Luxury, they simplify the leather back there and they just kind of make it a flat leather look, okay? That's pretty much it. All right, being the same, I'm not gonna be doing a space test, but as promised, we're dropping that MSRP sticker on both. So here's the MSRP sticker to the Sport Platinum and everything that comes with it. And then here's the MSRP sticker to the Premium Luxury so you guys get an idea of exactly what comes on both these cars. Now guys, we appreciate you guys watching our channel here at Vagabond Builds. Any comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. We'll try to get back to you guys as best as possible. Thanks guys, have a good one. Stay tuned, keep watching, God bless.